Bella Award winner, Ty Trivet. Who is probably the hardest working man in show business. <laughs> <laughs> he has all of my energy. Yes, sir. He has all of my energy. Yes, and um, just someone that God is using. <laughs> and, and, and I just love his stance and his desire to see souls saved and people changed. I want you to give in this audience. And I want you to welcome to TBN. I don't know if this is his first time here. It may not have been, but his second time. But his first time with me. Yes, sir. So, would you welcome from Philadelphia? Would you like to be from Philadelphia? Okay, he, you know, I'm trying to give him the city that's next to the <laughs> little city he's from. But he wants to be from Camden. That's right. So, from Camden, New Jersey, would you welcome <laughs> Brother Ty Trippett? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you know, I, I can't, I, I, praise the Lord, everybody. I can't have my family killing me, man. That's <laughs> when you get back to Camden. I got to go back home, man. You got to understand, Camden is across the river from Philly. Right. And so when you want to tell people from you, where you're from, you say, I'm from Philly. No, I say I'm from Camden. You're from Camden. Yeah, they say, yeah. where? <laughs> and so, but he's from Camden, New Jersey. Yes, sir. Now, wow, did you ever, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself. you married. Your wife is here. Yeah, my wife is here. And, and, and the little... And the little, the little, the little one. I have two daughters, so y'all pray my strength. Uh, <laughs> uh, her name is Shante. Oh, they, they ran to the restroom. She's my little daughter sneezing. You know, little Lincoln Victoria. Uh, my, and we've been married ten years in December. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Very excited about that. And uh, she's in the ministry with me as well. She sings in the choir as well. Really? And uh, yeah. And my mother is what I call my momager. She manages. <laughs> she, she man Your momager. My momager. So okay, she I understand. That. She's here as well. Nisi Tribbett is in the building. Mom, where you at? She's somewhere. There she is. There you go. Okay. That's your cue. You wave when you. She don't know her cue. So it's a family affair. My brother's in the ministry. He's the MD. So my whole family is 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 with is in the ministry in GA, and uh, I'm just a man who loves the Lord and just. So come on, tell me What's when up? when. Did, when did it happen for you? Is it something as you top the charts, as you are um, quoted as one of Oprah's favorite singers, and as you are uh, traveling around the world, did you imagine this? What, what yes, happened? When, what, what did you want out of life? Well, I'll, I'll, a mailman from Camden? No, not a mailman. Not okay. a milkman. Not okay. a, uh, uh, I, I grew up playing the organ in church, so my dream would be to play for the whinings or to play... <laughs> <laughs> to play, to play, be behind the scenes. I, I, I love being, uh, I understand submission. I understand being under. And, I, I, and that's another thing. A lot of artists nowadays, uh, they say, yo, Ty, I can't, how do you get where you at? I can't wait to get where you are. That's what we want to talk about. What church you go to? Yeah. Well, right now, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you're not yeah. submitted. Yeah. And the yeah. anointing flows from the head. That's right. So your first problem is you're not submitted under leadership. And that's not just people who want to be artists. That's a lot of young people, a lot of kids, teenagers. They're not, you know, they have parents, they have authoritative figures, but they're not submitted under it. Therefore, they don't get the flow. You don't get the flow. So I understand submission. So my thing was to always play, but then my mom would keep putting me in front of the choir for youth day or whatever. And I'm like, she always directed the choir, so I only saw a woman direct it. I'm like, that's a girl's job. I ain't going to do that. But every time I directed, you know, the anointing mess around and start moving. So <laughs> it was always blessed. It was always blessed. Yeah, so it was you a wonderful can't thing. help it. It was a wonderful thing. And then that's the transition. And then the, the group came. And then it never stopped from there. But I mean, how did the group come? I mean, I take, you, you're, giving, you're, giving, you're giving us the, the, the general. The, yeah. Just, okay. just slow it down. We got. We got. Uh, I'm used to, you know, know 30 it's... seconds, brother. I'm used to that. <laughs> You know, remember testimony service? Remember your brothers and sisters in the Lord. Uh, I was playing the, or the keys and everything in my house. Me and my brother, Dana, and everybody from the, around the way would just come to the garage and just play. They know Ty's garage. The garage. The garage. Ty's garage in Camden. And, well, actually, this is Willingboro now. Okay, we it's getting from, smaller. All right, hold on. <laughs> we moved from Camden to Willingboro. Okay. You know, so we were playing in the garage, and everybody knew after school, that's the place. Well, sometimes during school. So you, 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 you knew the Lord. You knew the Lord before. When, when did you come to know the Lord? How old were you? I, well, I grew up in church all my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I knew of the Lord. Okay. 
uh, I, 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 I received the gift of the Holy Ghost at the age of 12 years old. Wow. Speaking in tongues at the Spirit of God, give utterance. And I really got a real relationship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll say, uh, I don't know how long it was. It was about seven, seven or eight years ago after uh, a tragedy hit my life. And I was like, you know what? Lord, I knew church. I knew A flat. I knew C sharp. But I didn't know God. Uh. I knew up. Uh, but I didn't know his voice. I didn't know him. And so he, that's when he spoke to me very vividly. And it, it was a Uzai in my life, or Uzai, however you say it, that died. And when, that, when they died, I saw the Lord. Mm. And he was high and lifted up. And I said, wow. And from that moment, it was about seven or eight years ago. And um, from that moment, I've been with the Lord ever since. And, and Not perfect. Yeah, we understand that, and, but we're, we're moving toward that Amen. as we perfectly strive after what God has called us to be. Mm -hmm. to, to have music, and it, it's, it's evident that when one peruses your audience and surveys the folk that just love Thai and no Thai, they associate with the energy, the beat, the up tempo. But what's at the bottom of that? What's at the base of that? Uh, you, you, you hit some of it, and, and I just want to slow you down. You talked about uh, young people being submitted. How, how does that play into the anointing being on your life? Well, under all the hype, I would say, I think our, our music is bait. I really see that as bait. And not, not that I just use it as that. I enjoy our music. I mm -hmm. enjoy the high energy. I love dancing and stuff like that. But at the end of that, like you said, it's the relationship and it's the word of God. I'm a man who loves the word of God. Man. Now, heaven and earth and beats and moves are going to pass away, <laughs> but the word will always stand. So I, I love the word of God. And I think that a lot of young people and I, my calling is, is, is to young people. Mm -hmm. I understand my assignment. The word is not just for young people, but my assignment is, is, is to the young people. And if there's anything I would want them to understand... It's that um, it's just so different nowadays, and I know you know this. Everybody knows it's just a, it's a difference nowadays. But my assignment and my word to all young people is, uh, and this is not a shameless plug, <laughs> but it's the same thing as the name of my new CD coming out. <laughs> no, my assignment is the actual title of the CD. Let's go. You don't have to apologize. I feel for that. so bad about that. All right. <laughs> It'll be out uh, soon. Uh, no. Yeah, no, no. He it's, won't feel bad if you buy it. I ain't to the man. That's, um, 